Well, first I want to say how glad I am for this day. Thankful, happy. I'd rather be sitting out there than up here and part of me, but the other part of me uh, is tremendously honored to be a part of this. I'm glad that our family is here today, both families, and I know that both families, the addition of Amanda to our family is going to be a plus, and we're thankful for that. And, and uh, we even believe that an addition to Marcus to the Pajello family would be a uh, hope. It's <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hopefully, there's a little bit to work with. Straighten him out after all the years I messed him up. <laughs> all right. Marcus, if you would have told me 10 years ago today we would be standing here today, I probably would have laughed in your face. <laughs> but a little part of me would have secretly loved the idea. You are my safety in my home, as well as my biggest adventure. And I vow to be your biggest supporter in all of your dreams from this day forward. And if romantic comedies have taught us anything, it's that the true way to show how much you love someone is to quote poetry you don't quite understand. So I will leave you with this last thing. Not even the rain could have such small hands. And remember, I love you and I like you. Oh, that was great. <laughs> Dear Amanda, I'll never forget one of the first days we met, you were wearing that blue blazer that I loved. <laughs> you slipped and fell getting out of our cab, and all I could think of was, man, she even makes falling look good. <laughs> I leaned over to our friend Adrian and said, I'm actually going to marry that girl someday. And she responded, Marcus, no, she's not ready. <laughs> Pierce and Harrison also wanted me to add that you always play with me and you're really funny. <laughs> I love you for so many things, but I love you the most because over the past 10 years, you've become my best friend. Even though sometimes it may seem that Scotty and Joey might be fighting for that spot. <laughs> I love you and I like you. <laughs> <laughs> you did a good job.
I'm yours until the end of time. Like she said, my name's Scotty. And I'm Joey. And, and we're, we're the, the best, best men. men. greatest toast in the history of mankind. So in order to do so, we need to help our little friend, Toast the Toaster. Stay with me until the last We're gonna make this quite literal. We're going to make toast. One slice of toast for Marcus. Now I haven't known Marcus for long, so my speech will be a little bit shorter. Four score and seven years ago, our four friends brought forth to us Marcus and Amanda. Just kidding, that's my CBS receipt. Okay. So, <laughs> I'm gonna... How does it taste? Now you couldn't hear them, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, that was a mystery. Yeah, interesting. But Amanda said this peanut butter and honey toast relationship tastes like pure power. <laughs> Typical. And Marcus said this tastes like pure love. So <laughs> Marcus and Amanda, and let's get ready to party! Yeah.